Hello everyone, welcome back to Twin Peaks Outdoors. Today I'm in the Heernant Pass, which is near Bala in North Wales. Me and Karen have been doing a few days of van life. There's our camper van to win when there. And we found a fairly decent park up spot. I'll just show you around. A nice river there. And a nice little grassy area. So what I thought I'd do is, I'd do a, a short review on my MSR Access 1 Four Season Tent. Had the tent approximately two years now. So I'll show you what's in the bag, um, how to put it up, and we'll have a look around inside as well. I've emptied the bag and the tent bag is a wide mouth burrito style tent bag which I like because at the end of a camp if you've been camping in heavy rain you don't need to fold it up tidily to get it back in there or stuff it in the end of the bag with it being a burrito style bag you can just scrunch it up and just throw it in and dry it off when you get home which I like you get the inner tent which is there that is the pole system. That's the outer rain fly. And they're the stakes and they're groundhog stakes. You get eight groundhog stakes in total. The poles are Eastern Cyclone poles. They're a central hub system where all the poles are connected together. It's just a case of slotting them in. And I find that so much easier in cold weather. So let's get the tent up and have a look around. So that's the inner tent set up, fairly straightforward. Just connect all the poles together and you put the end of each one in the elongated eyelet at, at the end of each one you've got one on each corner and one in the middle either side of the tent so in effect now this tent is freestanding so you can pick it up move it around wherever you like if there's a lot of rocks around or some unlevel ground you can move it around to where you want What I'll do now, I'll um, I'll put the fly sheet on, and I'll show you how that connects to the inner tent. So what you do, throw the fly sheet over the top and then that goes under there like that. Do that on all four corners. Like so. And this tent is the 2021 and later model. The previous ones didn't have the vents either end. But this one has got two prop vents, one either end, and if you can see in there, it's got like a midge net. So that'll give you a free flow of air either end of the tent then. There's also four extra guy out points. There's one either side, and there's one at each end of the tent. What I've also done is, I've bought a pack of four MSR Cameron guy outs, so I've attached them myself, and that'll give you extra stability in high winds. I have used this in 35 mile, mile an hour winds on the top of cribbing just before Christmas, 
you may have seen that there, Joe, and they were a godsend that night. So yeah, they really helped. But with extra guy out comes extra steaks. So I've purchased six extra groundhog steaks. And I've got a bit of a mixture as well. I've also bought four 10 inch MSR Cyclone copies. And they were less than half price of the um, MSR original ones. But they do a pretty good job. These are more designed for soft ground and sand. So if you camp on a beach, these would be ideal. And you can never have enough steaks, like you can never have too many. And you know, the, the tent weighs 1.6 kilos. So with the extra steaks, it's not gonna bump the weight up that much. So I think it's pretty manageable to carry that, to be fair. I bought the tent on eBay for 360 quid, which I thought was an absolute bargain. It was listed as new, and fair enough, when I got it, it was in immaculate condition really was so for that money you know I couldn't leave it there because in the shops what are they six seven hundred pound brand new so yeah for 360 quid it was an absolute steal it came with a footprint it's not an MSR one but it fits pretty well so I'm quite happy with that if you want an MSR footprint I think you need the universal large one so yeah if you get one of them that'll fit this tent but that is that is good enough for me that's what come with the tent so yeah I'm pretty happy with that the outer fly is a 20d ripstop nylon the tent's got one door which I'll open now just fold that back Toggle. It's got a decent sized vestibule. You could put your boots in there and maybe uh, your pack if you needed to. Let's have a look inside. I'm inside the tent now with the outer fly door shut. So talking about the vestibule, you can cook there quite easily. It's easily enough room to do some cooking there. And at the top, you can pull the zip down to get some ventilation when you're cooking. I absolutely love this tent. And the main reason being you've got so much space you've also got a storage pocket there and one at the other end as well so you've got enough room to put all your bits your phone power banks etc in this tent you've got five loops to hang up a lantern you've got one there one that side one that side one in the middle and one by there, you've got five in total. So you can hang a lantern on pretty much every one of them if you wanted to. You could probably run a gear loft as well. Maybe tie some cords across there from side to side or down the, the middle of the tent if you wanted to hang some clothes up to dry. Another thing I love about this tent is the head height. And from the bottom of the bathtub floor to the top, the highest point being there, you've got 41 inches. And if I sit in the middle, I'm approximately five, nine and a half, five, ten, something like that. You know, I've got what's that on the top of my head to the top of the inside of the tent, what's that, six to eight inches? So that's plenty of um, room for me, plenty of head height. And even with, a, with an inflatable pad as well. That's um, two inches thick, maybe. 
So even with an inflatable pad, I'm still gonna have loads of headroom. And if you're six foot plus, I reckon I'd be fine as well. So yeah, the head height, yeah, it's bang on. And that's another reason why I love this tent. I'll show you the length of the tent now. If I go, if I lie this end, and I'll show you how much space there is at the end. So I lie down by here. So that's pretty much where I'd be if I'm sleeping. If I look down there, you've probably got, I don't know, eight inches maybe of space at the bottom. So you can get your pack in there if you wanted to. Quite easily, I reckon. And the sleeping pad I, I use probably comes to about there. So you've got a good few inches of space on the, either side as well. Or on the one side, rather. So yeah, plenty of room in this tent. I've just closed the uh, inner tent door just to show you what it's like. You've got a bit of bit of a midgy net there and that's the only bit of um, mesh on the inner tent all the rest is solid wall the floor is a 30d ripstop nylon and it's got quite a high bathtub all the way around apart from by the door where it steps down a little bit and this is um, MSR's Extreme Shield waterproof coating and that's got a hydrostatic head of 3000 millimeters. I think I've covered uh, nearly everything now about this tent. The only thing I haven't mentioned yet is the C word <laughs> and that being condensation. And to be honest I've used this tent a fair bit now and I don't think I've had any. <laughs> None at all. You know, all tents suffer from it, I know that. Other tents I've had have had condensation. But so far, so good. This one has been spot on. You know, it's always well vent ventilated. The vents are always open. And um, I haven't woken up to any drips, any wet sleeping bag. So yeah, so far, so good. It's been really good. I, you know, I've, I have um, read, you know, people have had condensation in the access ones, but I haven't had any yet, so yeah, it's been awesome. I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. Hopefully you found this video useful. And if you'd like to know anything else about the tent, any information, drop a comment in the comment section below. Me and Simon, we always reply, we always do. So yeah, if um, you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel out immensely. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future gear reviews or any of the adventures we go on. So until then, happy camping and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.